The purpose of this video is to demonstrate multi-factor authentication, a new feature included in Centrify's latest server suite release, 2016. This feature leverages Centrify's identity service to provide an additional layer of authentication for key components in the server suite environment. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have already created a user with MFA enforcement rights assigned. So without further ado, let's log in and see what happens. As you can see on my screen, I already have a PuTTY window open, ready to log in to one of the Unix systems in my environment. I also have a display to my Android device on the right side. The username I've chosen to test with is Rook, so let's go ahead and log in here. And I'll enter her password here. Okay, going through the first pass of authentication with the password, I am then prompted with MFA. For the purpose of this demo, I'll go ahead and select the default option of one for Centrify Mobile Authenticator. Now, on the right side, my Android device has just prompted me to approve or deny this request. I know the source, so I'll go ahead and approve it. Okay, back to the left side, I'll go ahead and hit return to process the auth, and we are in. Short, sweet, easy. Now, what else can we use MFA for? Well, one example is privilege elevation. If I do an AD flush, only run as root. Let's elevate privileges here. Easy to do, 80 flush. Okay, prompts me for my password once again. I'll go ahead and enter that, and I am prompted for MFA once more. We've already tested out the mobile authenticator. Let's go ahead and do security question. What was my first car? As you can see, the authorization went through successfully, and the caches have been flushed. That concludes my demo of MFA. Please keep your eyes peeled for future videos. I'll be covering more advanced topics such as the initial prerequisites, configuration, and advanced use case scenarios.